Welcome to Master Mathematics in Minutes. Today's topic is about vertically opposite angles, and we'll cover a couple of examples on how to calculate vertically opposite angles, and we will conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, what are vertically opposite angles? The vertically opposite angles of two intersecting straight lines are equal. So let's consider this visually. We have two straight lines and they intersect each other. So say if you were to label this angle as B, the angle that is vertically opposite B is also equals to B. Similarly, if we were to label this angle as A, the angle that is vertically opposite that angle is also equals to A. Notice that this is a straight line. And so A plus B, they make up angles on a straight line. And so they must equals to 180 degrees. And 2A plus 2B, they represent all of the angles surrounding a point. And the angles around a point is equals to 360 degrees. Let's consider a couple of examples. In the first example, we're asked to calculate the angle X. So we have two intersecting straight lines, and that angle is given as 120 degrees. So X is vertically opposite the angle 120 degrees. And so X must be equals to 120 degrees. In the second example, we're asked to calculate the angle X. So there's two ways to do this. The first way is to recognize that this straight line intersects this straight line. And so if this angle is 45 degrees, the angle that is vertically opposite that, which is X, must also be equals to 45 degrees. And so that is the first approach. The second approach is to recognize that this line is a straight line. And so the total angle must be 180 degrees. And so we have X, which is that X. The total angle on the straight line is 180 degrees, minus 30, which is that angle, minus 105, which is that angle. And that gives us 45 degrees, which matches the first approach. In the third example, we're asked to calculate the angle X. So we can recognize that this line is a straight line and it intersects this line, which is also a straight line. And so the angle that is vertically opposite X is also equals to X. So if we're able to find that angle, we will be able to find X. Secondly, we can recognize that this line is a straight line, and so the total angle must be equal to 180 degrees. And so we have x is equal to the total angle, 180 degrees, minus 25, which is that 25, minus 27, which is that 27, minus 31, which is that 31. And that gives us x is equal to 97 degrees. In the fourth example, we're asked to calculate the angle X. So we can recognize this as a straight line, and it intersects this line, which is also a straight line. And so the angle that is vertically opposite that needs to be equals to X as well. So if we solve for that angle, we will be able to solve for X. And secondly, we can recognize that this is a straight line, and so the total angle will be 180 degrees. And so x is equal to the total angle on a straight line, which is 180 degrees, minus 22 degrees, which is that angle, minus 32 degrees, which is that angle, minus 28 and 33, which are these two angles here. And with x is equal to 65 degrees. To summarize, the vertically opposite angles 
of two intersecting straight lines are equal. So consider two straight lines. If that angle is B, the angle that is vertically opposite that is also B. And if we were to label this angle as A, the vertically opposite angle is also A. And because A plus B, they form angles on a straight line, they will be equal to 180 degrees. And 2A plus 2B are angles around a point, And that is equals to 360 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics in Minutes.